And happening today, the sensing of an American teenager has now been moved back to next year, but she does avoid trial. Shannon Conley left the courtroom here downtown about a half hour ago in handcuffs, recognizing that while she did avoid trial with this plea agreement today, her work is not done. She has agreed to help investigators identify any other co-conspirators, any other terrorist activity in this case. Her plan was to meet her fiance overseas and train Islamic militants. She pleaded guilty to that conspiracy charge today. And as part of the investigation, federal investigators also found DVDs with known Al-Qaeda operatives and shooting targets with numbers of rounds fired and distances used as well. This is a closer look at Shannon Conley, 19, of Arvada. She was very close to her plan. FBI agents caught up to her at DIA. She admitted in court she did conspire to support a foreign terror group, ISIS in this case. She is also now agreeing to help the government identify other terrorist activity going forward, and that cooperation will impact her sentence. The judge told her he is not bound by any agreement that was made and wants to do a lot more. In fact, typically we were told sentencing in a case like this would be done around November 1st, but that won't be what happens here. It'll be the third week of January because the judge wants a summary of an incident from late November of 2012 where he talked about Shannon Conley stopping her medication. He wants a current psychological assessment, also a current personality assessment. That's before we get to sentencing, which in this case will be January 23rd. Live downtown, Tyler Lopez, 7 News.